In this video, we're going to take a look at a bug in Ghidra's PE loader. The bug manifests when Ghidra is loading sections. Let's assume we have our section here. Then this section in the PE header has a raw data size. The raw data size is usually the length of the data within the section as stored in the binary file. Then there is a second value the virtual size and this is the size that the section will occupy after being loaded into memory and usually the virtual size is greater or equal to the raw data size. However, in case the virtual size is smaller than the raw data size, for example like this, this is causing problems for Ghidra because there's another component and that is alignment. That means that the sizes of these sections have to be aligned to specific values. For example, the virtual size is often aligned to 1000 hex and the raw data size is usually aligned to 200 hex. Now what this means and why this is causing problems for Ghidra. For example, on a small alignment size, the raw data size can be any of these values. But the virtual size has a bigger alignment, so it can fall on, for example, any of these values here. And when the Windows loader now loads the section into memory, it will enforce the alignment of virtual size. That means it will round up the value here of virtual size to the nearest value, which let's say this is zero, this is 1000 hex and this is 2000 hex. And now the Windows loader will actually load a section this large into memory. And obviously in this large section the raw data size will fit in nicely. Now Ghidra doesn't do this. Ghidra does not align the virtual size. So if you have a virtual size that is smaller than the raw data size what will happen in Ghidra is the data in the section will only get loaded up until the virtual size. So that means what, what Ghidra sees of the section is this part here. However, let's assume we have a string down here which is outside of the section. Then Ghidra will not see it in its analysis. And this is also true for code. So you can hide code in there as well. To further illustrate this, I wrote a small proof of concept application which has a hidden string which Ghidra will not see during analysis. And this is achieved by writing two strings in a section called G height ra. And the first string is exactly the section alignment size plus one character. This means that our string full with A's fills the entire section with A's plus an additional A, so we get over this alignment boundary here, so we can hide the complete string following it in Ghidra. Now in Ghidra, this looks like this. Here we have the G Hydra section, here we have the all A string, and after that we have the hidden string. And this is now the binary without the header modified in a special way. So Ghidra can analyze both these strings. Next, I patch the header. The G Hydra section had a virtual size of 1040 hex. And I changed this to 1001 hex. This means that the Windows loader will actually align this to 2000 hex. And this will also include the other bytes that Ghidra will not see because Ghidra will only lo load the first 1001 hex bytes. Now I then exported this modified header to this Ghidra patched exe and this is what it looks like if you now load it in Ghidra. Ghidra simply does not see this string here. Previously it looked like this. Now, how can we fix this? 
To do this, we have to patch the source code of Ghidra. In order to work with the source code, you have to first clone the GitHub repository to your local machine. And then you can use, for example, Eclipse and import the project. To this end, you use Gradle existing Gradle project. And then you select the path where your Ghidra directory is. This is the root directory. That is, I cloned the Ghidra repository in the Ghidra folder here. And this is what you select for import. And then you hit finish. And then it takes a while. And then you end up with this. All the Ghidra source code files. Now I already looked through the source code and I found that the problem area is right here in the process memory blocks function where the section blocks are processed. And here they use virtual size and when you look through the code you figure out that when the raw data size is bigger than the virtual size they will stop processing it it will actually be truncated to virtual size and they do not take into account the alignment here. Okay, in order to make an informed decision, I have to figure out what happens to binary that gets loaded, which raw size exceeds a correctly aligned virtual size. So I will quickly patch a binary and then throw it into a Windows virtual machine to figure out what will happen. Okay, so Windows recognizes that this isn't a valid binary anymore. So after digging through the code for a little bit, I found the part where they do the alignment of the uh, raw data size. And I will now just add alignment for the virtual size to this. And here I get the section alignment. Now we run Ghidra from Eclipse with the change. And I'm now going to import the proof of concept binary that triggers the bug and analyze it. Let's search for the guitar can see me string. And here we see that we can see the string. Now we fixed the problem. <laughs> 